Does anyone have like a super weird job? <laughs> so you used to process bull semen. So like, do they, because they inseminate cows, right? You decide if it's male or female, the semen. What do you do? Just... <laughs> you, you're like... <laughs> and I'm assuming you do that under a microscope. By weight? <laughs> you have cum scales? <laughs> oh my god. So what's heavier? A, a, a female semen? Heavier? Yeah. yeah. Do you know what? <laughs> Just smarter. More going on. Right? <laughs> the male semen's like, oh, doo. Doo shooey. I like the, by the way, this whole time, who was, who was answering all the questions down here? Yeah. I was having this whole conversation and I was like asking you questions and this guy was just answering every question. Do you work in the same industry? Oh, I'm an AI technician. You're an AI technician. You're the... You're, you're the next stage. Oh! This is like a, a cow cum conveyor belt. In the, this is, it's good to see how the source is made, quite literally. Um, okay, okay, I have a few questions for you now. How deep? Oh, don't ask him that. And is it warm? Yeah. Yeah, assuming long glove. Yep. You can go as deep as you shot up. Why'd you say like you can, like if you want? You like depends how frisky you are that morning. Hang on, sorry, I've just noticed behind you, um, you have a t-shirt on that says, Don't bully me, I'll come. <laughs> but you know now that to, to me that's a challenge. Yeah, if you come, fucking, he's gonna put it up a cow, mate. He's gonna... <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're gonna have to weigh it first, actually. <laughs> yep, that's a boy. Um, what are do you doing yourself? Uh, I fix helicopters. What? Oh. <laughs> that has to be one of the most obscure jobs I've ever heard. You fix it? That's great. You're like a helicopter mechanic. Was that like me talking down to you? Then? Like, oh man, it's a bit more than a helicopter mechanic. You're a fucking helicopter mechanic, dude. You fix helicopters, right? Would you agree? And you don't have to, but would you agree that somebody who fixes cars is a mechanic? <laughs> would, you, would you agree with that statement? You know what? I'll give it to you. Helicopters seem complicated. I don't even know what the fuck to ask you after this. What's the, your favourite thing about helicopters? <laughs> You're answering a completely different question. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but keep going, I would love to know, actually. <laughs> so, helicopters are like the wife beaters of aviation. <laughs> and then planes are like, I want to break free. <laughs> and helicopters are like, I'll fly, but you fuck, what? Like, you know, <laughs> kind of like that. There's no one, and I, I mean no one has ever summed up aviation in that, that dumb before, ever, in the history. And I'm glad it happened in Darwin. Um, and, and, and you two, oh, are you friends? Oh, you're like, mum is like a company of the squad. Yeah, great. And are you all in high school? Is that why you need your mum here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang out with your mum on a Friday. <laughs> Pretty cool. No, I appreciate you coming, thank you. We have to head off, but uh, seriously, this has been so much fun. Thank I, I had no idea how this was going to go. It's fun, it's been great. Like flying helicopters, oh, no, fixing, you know, fly them. What's your name? Shane. What do you do, Shane? I'm a picture framer. Picture framer? So you just. We frame pictures. You frame pictures. Correct. And people go, here's money. People are like, here's a picture we want in frame. And we're like, okay, shoot, we'll put the picture in the frame. So you just, you know, sort of like metal bendy bits. <laughs> you grab their A3 sheet of paper, you walk to the A3 shelf. Correct me if I'm doing anything wrong, by the way. You walk back to the A3 piece of paper. I'm assuming they're watching you at the time. You then go, how's your day going? Great, oh, it's good. Oh, you got kids? Oh, 
sound lovely. <laughs> That'll be $100. <laughs> and the person's like, thank you for your service. You contribute almost less to society than I do. <laughs> Which is shocking and appalling. So is that, is that, did I get it right or is there a little more, a little more to it? walk to the shelf. You just go, I'll open that up for you. Take out the glass. Put it back in. How much do you charge? It depends on the brand and so on. So what, like half A4, double A3? The most was a thousand, half A thousand? How big was the frame? Oh, how big? Oh. Am I missing something? <laughs> what? What's the skill? You just gotta brighten. Are you boys both picture framers? There's two of you. Why is the demand so high? You're just like, mate, I'm fucking flat out of here. I need some assistance. This is astonishing. Do you have a shop? Nah. What do you, where do you do it? How do they know where to take the photo? Out of your shed. Out of your shed? This sounds so illegal. <laughs> Straight on the wall. Oh, so you hang it from as well? Yeah. Alright, that's where you're in your cash. Yeah. yeah. Nails are expensive. So uh, you charge extra for a hang? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> so how much extra? Uh, okay, it depends. It depends. Fuck, if it's as big as that TV, like that's a few nails, so 50 bucks. <laughs> yeah, right, so you're just like. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a life savings, thank you. Do we have any uh, other weird jobs? You're a streamer. You're a streamer? What do you stream? Generals. <laughs> I really thought you were going to say Fortnite. <laughs> do you run the streaming for a funeral service so when people can't attend the funeral, they watch it? Yeah, that's exactly Did that start during COVID? Uh, yes. Just because people are lazy now. This is the problem, we all figured out we could just do shit from home. That was the best part about the pandemic, we're all just like, oh, you don't need to go anywhere. You don't even need to go to Nan's funeral anymore. Just fucking rip it on Zoom and go to R.I.P. Nan anyway. Back to fucking Minecraft. Uh, has it ever gone wrong, the stream? Yes, one time. We did have to stream on Twitch once because we didn't have a channel. You streamed on Twitch? Alright, suck for that. Right. You know, if you don't enter the chat, you're a dog. Alright, you're excluded from the family. <laughs> who has the coolest job in? Let's just cut to the chase. Who, do, who reckons they've got the coolest job? Well, you find the UFC, really? Is, do they have the UFC here? Oh, and I was trusting you about your mullet. Holy fuck. <laughs> I'll just give it some distance. <laughs> Jeez, wrong. I wish I had have known that before the mullet got <laughs> That's awesome. I don't, like, what's the, I don't even know what to say to a UFC fighter. Oh, I'm starstruck. <laughs> I'm not even that into UFC. I just respect you, you know. That's so cool. How long have you been doing that for? Um, professionally, since And you, like, ranked or something? Yeah, top 15. Top 15 in the what? Well, in the world? Jimmy! Oh, do people, like, know your name? Local celebrity, not even an actual celebrity. Oh, dude, thanks so much for coming. That's so sick. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh god, can we do like uh, you know some like photo after the show? Where you're just choking me the fuck out. That's something. <laughs> Turns out I just have this weird kink for it. <laughs> now are you two, is this a couple here? Sister, Sister? fuck. Uh... <laughs> right, who, who's older? You're all done? Yeah, and, and then what do you do, mate? I'm a pool boy. You're a pool boy? Yeah. Like from <laughs> Hang on, like you clean people's pools? Yeah. Right. No, for a second I was thinking billiards, then I was like, no, that's not. <laughs> you're like, I'm an alcoholic, I just play <laughs> pool. Yeah, okay, you're a pool boy. Oh, so you go like around to like rich people's rich houses, clean their pools, clean their pools and then the, it, really. and the hot, the, like future divorced mums just hit on you. That's the plan. That's the plan. <laughs> 
we don't get into it for the money, that's for sure. <laughs> he probably doesn't even use the rod, he probably just walks out and goes, You make the fucking crawl. <laughs> you make the same ticking noise like Predator, you go. <laughs> like, have you ever met someone on the job? Oh, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> you like, make the days coming. <laughs> Like, your like search history is just like Paul Boy actually gets laid. <laughs> actually, does anyone have a cooler job than Paul Boy? Yeah, we're both truck drivers. Oh, you are you in the army? No, mining. We blow up the ground. Mining. Oh, that makes sense too. Do you just drive them around the mine, or you drive them like from two different mines? Mainly just on the mine. On the mine. So we drive down, fill up the holes with explosive shit, and then fuck blow it up. Oh, so you're filling holes in your profession, mate. You'll get there one day. <laughs> what do you do with yourself? I'm a colour consultant. A colour consultant? What? <laughs> they just come in and go, oh, no. and you're like red. They go, okay. <laughs> $400, please. <laughs> Was I close? Accurate? Now, now you, 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 for, you for a friendship group. Very nice. Whereabouts from? Uni, school? From Geelong. From, from Geelong? Great. I'm studying childcare. Yeah, what's the worst thing that's ever happened at work? Code Browns. Code Browns. <laughs> of course. Say no more. Yeah. She's like, as a colour consultant, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you looking at her, I'm not feeling bad. Um. Yeah, cool. oh, and you've come from work? Bloody ass. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, you look tired, brother. <laughs> what do you do for work? Crush rocks. Crush rocks? <laughs> Are you a Pokemon? What the fuck? <laughs> what do you mean you What's that mean? Well, I... Roads? I operate a loader, but we... Um, yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, that's when you come home and you're like, babe, you better to operate this loader. <laughs> so, yeah, we have an escalator. It yes. rocks into a jaw, which crushes them, and yeah. then feeds it into a cone, which crushes them even smaller. And then I pick them up in a loader and stop them. Oh, so you're like, you, 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 oh, that's so cute. <laughs> you get the little baby rocks at the end. Brother, you, you carry pebbles. Um, <laughs> Someone else does the big rocks, and then someone's like, well, I'll do the medium ones, and then they get to you, and you're like, ooh, <laughs> you <a> rookie? <laughs> Is that what you did? That's cool, yeah. You get big rocks too. You get big, oh, you get... <laughs> There's something interesting about the male brain where, he, 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 I know he knows I'm joking, but he's still like, no, I'll get the big ones. I, want, I just want everyone to know that I do, I, I, I've dabbled with some big rocks. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure you yeah. <laughs> have. That's very cool. Also, so what's that? What company is that for? Well, mining. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Great. So you take them out of the earth and you just destroy it. <laughs> we get we get small rocks that fit in our machines, and then the scrapers after we crush it, they come and put it on the roads for the big trucks to drive. Ah. <laughs> so you make little mining roads with your little rocks. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. What do you do it yourself, sir? Yes. Sorry, you don't know? <laughs> Wait, what did you say? You better not ask me if I really don't really talk about it. You don't... <laughs> I don't really talk about it. <laughs> That's so mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, well, what do you do, sir? Student pharmacist. Student pharmacist. Okay, this man is a drug dealer for sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're just his apprentice. <laughs> I am a student pharmacist. He is, <laughs> you're just like, he's meth padawan. Um, I honestly disagree with you, right? I fucking, it disgusts me when people complain at Maccas. Like, what's the worst thing anyone's ever done? I had to in my drive-thru. One of your clients, probably. Um, <laughs> Too late, but you're like, yeah, yeah, that front row action. <laughs> well, welcome and enjoy the floor. <laughs> you know, there's seats up the back. They just want to have more seats if you want to go. No, you don't want them? Oh, it's so good. You're like, we're happy here. <laughs> you look kind of spiritual, like you're just cross-legged, like watching comedy, like you're meditating. 
Yeah, like, how's the like, shirt? Sure. He was healing. <laughs> That's very lovely. So, are you two friends? Yeah. Yeah, whereabouts are you friends from? Where'd you meet? School and then and now what do you do with yourselves like for a job? You're a painter professionally. Congratulations, that's so cool. Oh, you just don't often meet a professional painter. Like, what type of paintings do you do? House paintings. Ha house paintings. What do you mean house paintings? Oh, oh, you're a painter. Oh. So dumb. And because she was sitting there cross-legged, I was like, oh, she's she's at one with the arts. <laughs> if someone tells you they're a painter like this, you're like, she's like, I'm a painter. I was like, oh yeah, what do you do? Like abstract, you know, scenery. And then you're like, no, like fucking walls are you in here. That's how I got a job as a painter. I was like, how'd you get a job? You're like, tape. Okay. Actually, do you, what are you, what's a qualification for painting? Is there one? I've never met a painter. <laughs> you do four years. <laughs> of tape. Yeah, but still, like, I'm, you're just like, yeah, no, we'll do this one white. <laughs> and you put a bit of tape over the thing you don't want to paint on. Done, we'll take the tape off. <laughs> Have I just summarised four years of tape? <laughs> you're, you're shaking your head, but I, there's 300 people like, no, that's pretty much it, right, eh? <laughs> Do you do any art at all? No. no. <laughs> Hang on, let's just do a poll. Did half of you know what she meant the first time? Yes. Yeah. You were like, why does she look so impressed by this? And I was like, wow, a professional plumber. You never meet professional plumbers. And they're like, what, what do you plumb? No. I might be the dumbest comedian in the country. Like, there is a high chance that that's possible. I don't know, I just, I'm not a manly guy. Any men in? Who's that? You, you're a digger, brother. What do you dig? Just holes. You don't know. <laughs> I feel like that's something you should know. Just follow the blue line. Follow the blue line. You, you've applied the same mindset of a swimmer to digging. <laughs> you're a fucking man. Yeah. Like, don't give him too many tasks. Or what, he'll fuck it up. Yeah, what should we do? And some guy just gets out a thing of spray paint like... He's like, oh god! <laughs> Did I just summarize your entire job in like 10 seconds? Yeah! <laughs> Can you give us any more detail? Sometimes they're deeper holes. Sometimes they're deeper. <laughs> Different grades of ore. Is that what you dig? Or No, he doesn't even know. He just follows the line. He has no idea what he digs, man. You used to paint the lines! <laughs> and is that really his job? He just follows the line? Yeah, I stand there with a radio. Hang on, so you paint the line, and then you're like, all clear to follow it. <laughs> then you come home to your partner every day, she's like, how was work? He's like, Exhausting, that line just kept going. <laughs> you must get like PTSD, like, you know, doing coke. <laughs> like, oh, fuck, another line, God! <laughs> At least it's a different colour. <laughs> yeah, does anyone have like a super obscure job? Yeah. Yeah, what do you do? Bindi farmer. A bindi farmer? Yeah. Is that how they make the Irwins? <laughs> The farm before you pushed out a Steve and a Terry, you know. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, like a bindi's a bindi in my head is like the things that prickle you. Yeah. That's why she doesn't like the wet grass. <laughs> does, does anyone have a weird fear that they're willing to share? Wet grass. Dog. Wet grass. 
What's wrong with you? <laughs> what, why? <laughs> yeah, but it's not a fear. Is it like, like you just, it's a fear? Fully closed shoes. Yeah. Did you say clothed? <laughs> Fully clothed? <laughs> you, you, you got a little necklace on you. I think a little bow tie or something. It's fully clothed. I dressed up today. You know, smart casual little. <laughs> you got a collar around here. <laughs> dry grass you're cool with? You just roll, you get you get the dogs out on the, on the dry grass. <laughs> so, so, what's that, it been for you? Sorry? I'm her fear, that's all me. I try a binge for a living. They don't go in our local parks around here, so me and my old man have to spread them out. But why do no one wants bindies? Why are you growing these little things? They're like Lego but nature when you step on them. Well hang on, so I'm confused. There's there's a market for bindies? <laughs> the local council wants them, you know, on the grass. Then they want, want them on the grass? <laughs> No wonder you don't like walking on the grass. I didn't realise your local council were just terrorising the parks. Just like, might as well get a bunch of thumbtacks and just... <laughs> Fuck him. Like, do you sell them in boxes? No, no, I mean, like in drums, like 220 drums. There's drums of, of, t of these... Oh, what? Fuck you, dude. All right, no. Psychopaths, that's like when you find out someone like makes weapons for the military and you're like, how do you sleep at night, dude? They sell them to like the Middle East. You're doing that shit, but it's localized terrorism. <laughs> Hang on, so they put them on the ground. Do you know why they do this? Yeah, I'll paint a picture. So you go on the hot road and then after you go on the hot road, you need to go to your nearest store and buy like some thorns or something like that. And it just leads on. So economy. Oh, it's a scam. It's big for people like her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, you should be afraid of wet grass. Is that seriously why? So they want, they just don't want people walking in the grass and being like, like, as in, is this like a scheme that's funded by like those weird souvenir stores that sell thongs at the front? Luke, I'm taking the piss. <laughs> Brother, I've been defeated by the king. Oh. <laughs> so you don't even with this note. Is there even a bindi farm? What do you actually do? You know, pink, pink lady apples. <laughs> you, uh, fuck off! I'm not going down this. I'm not going out, you're like this, so the government wants you to eat pink lady apples. They've got a chemical in them, right? It makes you afraid of wet grass. So do you actually just work at an apple farm? No, I'm a mechanic and support worker. <laughs> so you're a support worker or you didn't support me? Oh man, you have way too much. You had way too much time today under a car, just on your back. Like, oh, this will really fuck. Him. This will fucking get him, dude. You took us all on a journey, okay? Be honest, all of you. Give us a cheer if you thought the Bindi thing was real. Yeah. Oh my god, I think that that's, dude. You just, uh, that's. I'll never get that four minutes back. But brother, I enjoyed every second of it.